As the saying goes, health is wealth. The health and well-being of its citizens can be used to measure a society's development. My name is Kuya Ulubwenga. I'm a polio survivor. I live with a serious type of deformity that makes ordinary trekking a deb debilitating job for me. Until 2006, when the Lagos State Limb Deformity and Collective Study Program started. On the streets of Lagos, people with various forms and degrees of limb deformity can be seen. Before 2004, they were even more common. When you are talking about deformities, deformities can be classified in two ways, congenital and acquired. Congenital deformities are those ones that the person is born with. Under the Ashiwaju administration, Lagos State initiated and sponsored screening and surgical correction of various deformities. Facilities were provided for investigations, both imaging and non-imaging. And at a point in time, we had the construction of the first bones and trauma center in West Africa was constructed and commissioned in the state. So far, we've been able to train many people, we've been able to carry out very many services, including correction of deformities, both congenital and acquired. When I came, people were many, at least, we have about 2,000 that day. Along the line, they pick her. When they pick her, we went for the X-ray, the test and every other thing. So they give us an appointment. So when we started, we started well. The second day we were discharged. I give God the glory because then, even when she's sleeping, I won't be happy to see her the way she's sleeping because she's, so, she's very beautiful. So now she can join her legs together. Now she's okay, she has go back to school because for almost three months she could not go to school. But now she's back and she's all right. Since the program's inception in 2004, 36,000 patients have been screened with 4,000 undergoing corrective surgery. These procedures were completely free of charge. We've been able to go a long way since we started this outreach, various outreach programs. Government has, government really supported the program. I can testify to that. Somebody told me, do you, do you, don't you think you can work better? I said, how? He said, through corrective surgery, you can go to Ibobi orthopedic hospital. And truly, I went there. But I, I, I was turned back from the radiology department because I couldn't afford the money for the x-ray. From that time, I've been making frantic effort to see this post-polio surgery or corrective surgery uh, done until I had the news outside on a, 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 a national television that said Lagos State government is doing something of that nature. Totally free, absolutely free. And I investigated and I discovered it was free. From the very day one, from the screening, all the tests that were conducted, everything was free. The cost that was given to me at the uh, Gobi Orthopedic Hospital was close to 200,000. I mean, the cost of the surgery alone, not, not consumable, no consumable, no drugs, no nothing, nothing. No uh, walking aids like the, the caliper, the sewers, and the walking stick, and all this were not part of the cost of the surgery. All these things were given to us free. 
by the government of the state government then under the leadership of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Ashiwaji prioritized young children because these deformities could interfere with their education and worse, the children could be used as a tool to make money, begging on the street. 20% of the patients were under the age of five. <laughs> Living a normal life seemed impossible for adults with these deformities. With the increased competition for jobs in a mega city, they found it increasingly difficult to contribute to their economy and the general economy. There was a time I, I actually applied for a job. That day, the, I was sent a text message that bring congratulations, you are successful. But on getting to the person that sent message prior to the surgery, when he saw me, I said, what are you here to do? I said, I'm here to collect my uh, letter of appointment. You sent a letter, you sent a uh, text message to me that I was successful in the job interview I did. I said, no, we can't employ you. In fact, the, the guy chased me out simply because of the level of deformity that characterized me. Simple ideas, initiatives and policies can have a significant impact on the lives of millions of people. Ashiwaji's contribution to health initiatives such as Jigibola, limb deformities and corrective surgery has changed people's lives. Each family that benefited from this program was grateful to God. Number one, because some of those children that benefited before then, they couldn't go to school. Many of them couldn't go to school because going to school was a difficult thing. Many of them, their parents had to carry them to school because of the kind of deformity they had. But after the surgery, many of them could walk freely to, the, to, to their various schools. So many of them were rejected by proprietors of government, uh, private schools. But after the surgery, they all began to live their normal lives, just like myself. And now, just like I said before, and I always say, I'm happily married, I'm doing very well. I'm grateful to God. That is my astrology story. <laughs>